what you're looking at here is what I was doing while everyone else was out drinking beer and kissing girls. Uh, this is a program I wrote uh, in 1994, when I was 19, uh, and I thought I'll explain a little bit how, how it works, uh, and then I'll show you a little bit of the code uh, reasonably quickly. Uh, so what happens is, um, at the bottom of the screen, new white dots are occasionally drawn, uh, and then a routine goes that goes down the screen line by line and basically makes each dot the Aver the average of the ones below and to the left and right of it, uh, but then decreased slightly. And so a, a random white dots are put at the bottom all the time, which will make kind of random hot spots. And as they move up the screen, they kind of dissipate and fall away in, the, in this sort of just simple kind of pixel averaging way. So I'm going to jump out of this, and I'll show you quickly how the program works. This is Turbo Pascal. Um, and uh, I love these comments that I wrote with the ASCII boxes around them that I uh, clearly took hours sticking together um, my little comments and then look at this mouse cursor it's creating. Uh, here's a comment from my brother uh, who I think at the time would have been 16 maybe 15 uh, and then I'll jump a little into how the program works so um, it sets up a um, a virtual copy of the screen it directly addresses the screen memory as you could back then uh, and it then plots the pixels on screen and most of the program is in turbo pascal but there's a chunk of it in the middle in assembler and I'll, I'll explain that in a minute this is all pretty simple uh, loop set up the video mode set the palette for VGA uh, and then repeatedly add some more spots at the bottom update the stuff on the screen and then uh, sorry, update the stuff in the off-screen memory copy of the screen and then copy them back to the screen, keep going until you key pressed and then uh, we have messages that 19-year-olds put in computer programs at the end. So I'll jump into the assembler, which is the fun part. And this was a great thing about Turbo Pascal. It was very easy to write assembler in line. You see, I'm passing parameters into this function uh, that are actually then used in the inline assembler that I just wrote in the Turbo Pascal editor. It's quite, it was really quite nifty at the time. So we get the address of the real screen, the virtual screen, and then here is the main part of our loop. So for every pixel in there, BX is the BX register is going to hold the the kind of averaging that we do for each pixel. So we uh, load from the virtual screen, we load the thing at X and Y, we load the thing at X minus 1, Y plus 1, all the pixels basically sort of to the left and below and an extra one below. Uh, and then what we're effectively going to do is average those and reduce them slightly. Um, but doing that kind of thing in assembler is extremely hard uh, on clock cycles. So you can see over on the right here, these are the notes that I've made of how many clock cycles each of these instructions are. So um, it, 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 it really involves... You cannot do any mathematics in this thing, otherwise it's just going to go horribly slowly on an 8286 machine. Uh, so what we do is we add up all of those pixels around R1, and then what we do is jump and look into this lookup table. So we now have a, we'll have a value. How many pixels are we adding up here? One, two, three, four, five. So we have a value somewhere between zero and two five five times five by adding those all together. And this lookup table, I haven't actually counted them, but I bet you it includes about a thousand things here. Uh, and this is just, I clearly, I don't even know where I worked this out from, but I clearly just did the mathematics of adding these up uh, and dividing them again, and then just put them into a big table of values. So you can see that things down the bottom will stay pretty hot, and things at the top will get cooler. And then all we do is uh, move on to the next pixel, keep going until we get to the end. Keep going back to this loop, this is the main loop here. As you can see, it's what, like 30 clock cycles or something like that, maybe a bit more. Uh, and then after that's happened, it all the virtual screen gets copied onto the real screen, and that's how we animate it. Just run it again so you can bask in its wonderfulness. As you can see, it runs in a kind of a letterbox thing at the bottom of the screen, and that I would have dearly loved for this to run full screen, um, but unfortunately my computer wasn't fast enough to do that. So there you go. Um, I think what I'm going to do is port this into something 
more modern, uh, but I haven't quite worked out what. And if I do that, I will make another video about it.